here, Diamond Painting Friends. How is everyone doing today? Um, I just wanted to pop in for a quick little whip and chat and go over a couple of questions that I had. Um, somebody on Facebook had asked me if I could do a quick overview of the supplies that I use, my preferred supplies. In yesterday's Kit Up video, I showed you these little pots that I've got. Um, I also have my big suitcase with the um, screw-on lid pots that you guys have seen. This particular case that I have has 60 pots in it. Came with lots of cute little supplies. Um, I do use a diamond straightening tool. Um, this one that came with my suitcase is super, super thin. I had also at one point in time ordered one through Timu by itself. It's not quite as thin, so it still does the job but I do prefer the one that came with my kit better. Um, it just seems to be a little bit thinner, um, so it, it is my preference between those two, and I don't know why one's thinner. They literally have the exact same writing here in this area. Yes, it's in Chinese. No, I don't read Chinese, but they're the same exact characters, so there's that. Um, as far as a pen, I do just use the pen that they send you. I do have uh, three of the finger grips on there that run the entire length of the pen so that whether I am, you know, multi-placing or honestly, I use this multi-placer as a straightener more so than a multi-placer that has blue wax in it or um, blue tack in it right now. Don't care for that. I single place more than anything, so, but it does give me some comfort grip on the, um, the handle and gives it a little bit more uh, size so it's more comfortable to hold for lengths of time uh, but you know we all have tons of these little pens and many of our kits nowadays are coming with the little squishies so I just put those on there that's the pen I use um, I do prefer the large tray you see this tray in comparison to the little green tray that they all come with it's got a little bit higher sides um, and they're straight up and down rather than slanted so you don't have so many uh, of your drills that are popping out of there. Uh, Lazy Retired Granny gave us the tip the other day. She had seen somebody else use just a little piece of one of these uh, finger grips that comes with the, um, the pins and just cut off one segment of it and put down in there as a stopper so that you don't lose drills out the end as you're shaking. Uh, as far as other supplies go, I do have a light pad here. Um, it's a small one. Let's see here, what's the size of this one? It is total light pad surface. You're looking at 12 inches by, sorry, I just bumped you guys, uh, nine and a quarter inches. Uh, so it does, you know, it's a little, a little smaller than a 30 by 40 painting, but it works just fine. Um, let's see here. Let's do the, let's do this in the, yeah, so it's 30 and a half centimeters long. So it, um, it does do fairly well for something that's like 30, 40, 30 by 40 size. I've done the larger paintings on it and I just, I just move the painting about as I need to. So that's how, that's I think the basics of my diamond painting supplies. I just use what they send you. I haven't invested in any special pins yet. I've been eyeballing a whole bunch on Timu, but I haven't actually purchased any yet. Um, I did want to also share a completion. I did get this little 15 by 15 owl completed. These are crystal rhinestone drills. His eyes really do pop out looking at it through the camera. They're, they're not quite as poppy like that as on uh, in real life. But I've been really pleased with the way these little guys have been coming out. I've got a few more of them to do, including Mr. Santa here. So I just thought I'd pop in, say hello to everybody, show you my completion, go over a few tools that I use and see how everyone was doing. Um, I hope everybody's had a great day. I worked today as usual. I started with a little bit of a workout this morning at the local rec center 
and then from there I went over to, um, well, I came back to my house because I do work from home and got everything set up and ready to go. Um, I had a little issue with my computer this morning. It just decided it wanted to be crazy. I don't know why, but it did. So I, I had some issues this morning with it, but got it all worked out by about lunchtime. Um, so I did spend most of my evening working, trying to catch up with all the work I did not accomplish this morning. Um, let's see, what do we want to start with here? Let's, I like to kind of start on these in the lower right corner and kind of work my way up. They do have a little bit of overhang of glue because these are poured glue, but not enough for me to really fuss with. So what is that? Number 10. We're going to start with number 10. Like I said, these big trays, they hold a lot of drills. Not that I need this many for this particular painting, but I wanted to kind of show you capacity-wise. This is kind of a medium-sized drill, if you want to kind of compare to the to the small ones um, that are about the average size for our paintings. Um, so yeah, I, I worked, and then my husband made dinner tonight. He made a meatloaf. Um, he wasn't real thrilled with it, but I thought it was pretty good. Um, and green beans. I don't know why we didn't have a starch tonight, but we, we had a vegetable, so good enough, right? Uh, we had green beans with our meatloaf, and we use um, the Italian cut green beans because they're better. I don't know if y'all have ever eaten those, but we get the, the Italian cut ones. It's just what he grew up on and what he likes, so whoops. Let's see, and then from there we just watch TV for the evening. He's gone to bed now, so I am just doing a little diamond painting and chatting with you all. Tomorrow's plan, um, going to the gym to work out again and hopefully getting there a little earlier than I did this morning. I was running way behind, but I did still get a full workout in, so I can't complain too much. Um, and then of course I have work tomorrow and then I'm actually off Friday of this week. I have a long weekend, um, because my quilt guild is hosting a, a little retreat that we refer to as quilt camp and I am hostessing. So I'm just making sure everybody gets there and gets fed and has the, everything they need. Um, I'm also teaching a small project. Um, as well while we're there this weekend. Everybody's really looking forward to that. I got to show them my samples on Tuesday when we were at our regular monthly guild meeting. So uh, what other crafts do you do? I know um, Lazy Retired Granny does some knitting. Um, Chef Diamond seems to do a little bit of everything. She's kind of focused on perler bead crafts right now. Um, for those of you who do know um, Crafty Chef, or Diamond Craft, goodness gracious, I can never remember what order her name is in. Chef Diamond um, is going through a bit of a rough time, so definitely keep her in your thoughts and prayers right now. Send all the good vibes for her, and... Uh, but yeah, I know she does the, the perler beads. I think I forgot to mention my tweezers. These came with one of my, actually it came with my suitcase. And they're fantastic. They're nice and thin. They they close together really well, so they grip really fantastic. Um, they're actually pretty good for doing these little special drills cause, because they do pick them up really well. They also drop them really easily if you're not paying attention. Let's see, where did that go? All right, bear with me here. It fell, and it looks, oh, there it is. These are really, really hard to see when they fall in the wrong spot. So, there we go. Anyways, let's go back to the pen. You get, um, as far as wax goes, I just use, again, the basic that they send with the kits because Again, we're on a budget, so why spend more than what we have to? 
in order to get the supplies when the companies give you everything that you need already anyways. So that sums up my week. Um, videos will be in short supply over the weekend if I get to do any. Like I said, I am hosting Quilt Camp. So I will be, you know, super busy with that all weekend long, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Um, so probably won't be getting to diamond paint much, which, you know, it is what it is. I, I have, you know, lots of fun with my friends while we're quilting. Um, I have a couple of quilts that I'm going to make this weekend that are just small quilts for donation. Um, our Quilt Guild donates small quilts to different organizations around our community. Um, we supply all of our police departments in, that we can in our county with quilts to use when they, you know, have somebody that they come in contact with that's in need. We also give to our local dialysis center as well as a group that helps single mothers that are in need of supplies for their, you know, newborn babies or, or soon to be born babies. So we've got several good groups that we take care of with our donation quilts. So I've got a couple of small kits that I have picked up from the guild that I'll be putting together this weekend. I may do a little video to show you kind of what those look like. So here we are getting some good progress made. When you put those bigger ones on first, it certainly does feel, ooh, there's some good shine, like you're getting a lot of progress made on these. So I definitely like that. As you see, I just put my cover over here to cover most of the stick. And then whenever I'm ready to close it up for the night, I'll just move it back over. And usually I've got this clipped to a clipboard. Um, tonight I may not do that. I'll probably just set my, my beads on top of it to make sure that the cat doesn't knock the paper off of it. She's usually pretty good to leave my diamond paintings alone. Now that she knows what they are, I've been doing them for a while and, and she's kind of gotten used to them, so... All right, well, that's all I've got for tonight. I appreciate y'all stopping by and visiting for a bit. Like I said, leave any questions or comments down in the, um, down below the video, and I will get back to you and make sure that I answer any questions for you. Have a great day, and we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.